A little bit messy in here, but it looks like a new stream that's formed from recent rain. Been walking for half an hour or so. Haven't really filmed much of that because uh, it's not too entertaining, but quite interesting the way it, it's wrapping around the trees, but it's just lacking the, the main focal point. This one. feeling there was going to be something up here look at that it's not just the waterfall though it's the colors look at that tree look at the patterns in these rocks there's just inspiration everywhere first things first I want to see if I can get up to the top terrace to look straight at the waterfall because this lower perspective there's possibilities but it's a bit tricky see if we can climb up here and then up that next fall but that big one's huge, that's about 25 feet tall. An amphitheater. You gotta know when to call it quits. I'm not gonna try to get up that waterfall. That's about 12 feet tall. I just don't really like the look of it. It's, it's too steep to go around. My car is about three, four kilometers away. And then I'm about 70 kilometers from civilization in the car I'm really in the middle of nowhere here completely in the wilderness so 
If I sleep there, I'm a goner. I'm gonna play it safe. Let's see what we can do with this beautiful tree. And then the lower perspective, looking up at the upper waterfall anyway. Let's, let's have some fun. hard to get a clean composition that flows to that and then same as the tree I'm just really struggling to do justice to the tree it's really hard when you have these deep pools because you just can't walk around wherever you want to walk and then obviously the rocks that I need to walk on are just so slippery it's uh, been a bit of a challenge there we go I've come up a little bit higher 12 millimeters, I can just fit the perspective in. Just drinking the water at about a third of a second is quite nice. Love that flow and the blue. I don't think I'm going to bother with the waterfalls, too many obstructions leading the eye. Just concentrating on the tree. I'm gonna focus stack because I'm getting really close to this rock here. Then there's a bit of a flow from the rock down to the water. And then it leads us back towards that tree. computer just to quickly show you these three raw files I'm going to talk about a few things so this was the composition looking back towards the tree here's a more intimate scene of these rocks and and then this small stream uh, one of the portions of the waterfall so out in the field these were basically what was really catching my eye and obviously what I spent a bit of time on now I'm just going to do a super quick bit of processing on this one but guys, what I want to talk about is why I'm not keeping any of these photos at all. So that's a rough just edit there um, to bring out the dynamic range. This one will just do a landscape profile, touch brighter, maybe some contrast. And then this one, this this is part of a focus stack, uh, which I'm obviously not going to do the stack. But we'll, I'm just doing this to show you the details, all right? So we'll just get a bit of color in here. Maybe pull the highlights down, bring the blacks up and shadows. All right, that's just a rough ballpark, just so you can see what we're looking at. Now, well, like I said, I'm not keeping any of these. And basically out in the field, I was really enjoying shooting this perspective. This tree, just what a beautiful big creature. Um, I like the flow of the river that was going towards it. Now, getting back home and looking at this, one of the downsides was I did initially like the light on that wall back here, but I actually found it just a little bit distracting here in the processing. And I think the colors are just really clashing. You've got the green and the yellows, uh, obviously the cyan blues in the river. Those colors generally work well together, but the more I look at this image, the more I just think there's actually too much going on. Now in the field, I did consider trying a tighter crop up here of the tree, like a tighter frame, but it was hard to really single out any particular branch on there. I just couldn't really see the composition. And again, the light was kind of clashing a little bit. So look, I got home, 
started processing this one, sat on it for a while and just decided it's, I just don't like it. Um, I don't like it enough to keep and do anything with it, but I figured for educational purposes it was still worth showing. This one here, I probably like this the most out of the three, but I just don't think it's worth me adding into the portfolio. It's not really you know, giving my portfolio something that it doesn't quite have before, but I do like how I've got the water line down the bottom, so you've got that subtle horizontal line kind of splitting the frame all the textures and colors i think what's just what's letting this one down for me is it's just lacking that kind of final piece of the puzzle the a nice finishing point like over here for example this is nice to look at i like the blues in here that's quite striking and different to the rest of the rock when i kind of analyze this whole frame i'm just not really seeing just the final resting place for the eye. And a lot of the time, like an intimate image, you won't necessarily have that, but it's just not quite enough for me, again, to bother putting on the website, putting in the portfolio. So I'm just gonna scrap it. This one here, um, compositionally, like I love the way these rocks rolled on. That was a pretty cool feature. I just don't think it's a strong enough main subject, again, to say, yeah, okay, that belongs in the portfolio. Um, if I've never shot waterfalls before, sure, throw it in there, but I just, I'm looking at it, I'm not feeling it. Um, and for that reason, I'm just gonna scrap all three. That whole process then, I didn't end up coming home with a single image and I wanted to share this with you guys because it's such a common thing that can happen. It's just about the experience and getting out there and having fun, which I certainly did. And the irony is when I got back to the car and started driving home, this scene right here caught my eye and just with a tiny bit of walking, I was able to make this image. And prior to that, the little hike we did up to the, the waterfall and everything, that was probably four hours worth of hiking, shooting, hiking back. And then ironically, I just end up getting an image pretty close to the road looking at this peak. And I'm perfectly fine with that. It's just how photography is sometimes. You can plan all you like and you can put in a lot of effort. And I, I believe don't force anything. If you get home and you're really not feeling it, just kind of learn from why and try and dissect, okay, why, what went wrong? Was it the light? Was it my comp? Was it the subject matter? Break it down into what I call the four pillars. Could be the the subject, the composition, the light, or the processing, um, or a combination of those four. And that's all good. Just learn from it and hopefully you have fun outdoors anyway. And I was just really glad to actually go home with an image. This is the raw honest behind the scenes truth it's just you don't always go out and get an image and if you did it's probably not up to a, a certain standard that you might be generally aspiring um, for anyway so that's why it's good to let it sit for a while look at your images um, a little bit more objectively and if it's just not working that's all good hopefully you can learn something something from the, the experience anyway thank you guys